Grammy winner Sarah Paulson is halfway to an EGOT after winning her first Tony Award for her role in Appropriate. In her acceptance speech, Paulson gave a heartfelt tribute to her partner, Holland Taylor, saying, quote, Holland, thank you for loving me, end quote. The couple who began dating in 2015 after Taylor slid into Paulson's DMs, yes, she did, mm -hmm. celebrated together as Paulson's acclaimed performance earned her the award. Watch this. Whew. It is humbling to be included in the same breath as Amy Ryan, Rachel McAdams, Betsy Adam, and the great Jessica Lange. I thank the American Theater Wing and the Broadway League for this honor. An abundance of gratitude to Carol Rothman and Second Stage Theater for giving us our home at the Hayes. To our intrepid producers who brought us to the Belasco, Kristen Kasky, B. Carazzini, and everyone at ATG, J.J. Abrams, everyone at Bad Robot Live, I thank you. To our front of house and back of house crews at both theaters, we could not do this without you. Uh, Hilda Queeley, Joe Mahota for the rare gift of representation that actually encourages theatrical commitments. Thank you, Ala Plotkin, my publicist in my life for 20 years. I think you wanted this for me more than anyone in this room. Lila Neugebauer, for boundless gratitude for your keen eye and your sure hand. Corey, Michael, Natalie, Elle, Ella, Graham, Alyssa, Lincoln, and Everett, you astonish me nightly. You have become my family, and I am never letting you go. Julia Crockett, I am forever in your debt. Holland, thank you for loving me. I am standing here tonight because of the mighty talent that is Brandon Jacobs Jenkins. I will never be able to convey my gratitude to you for trusting me, for letting me hold the hand of Tony Lafayette, a woman you have written who makes no apology, who isn't begging to be liked or approved of, but does hope to be seen. But don't we all? Sarah Paulson thanks her woman at the Tonys. What are we all talking about? I love me some Sarah Paulson. I know. I feel like every time I come on the show, we talk about Sarah. Paulson. Really, really? Yeah, I think I'm. I think like I'm. I'm. I am attracting her energy every time I come on here. Have you seen I, her and stuff? I, I well, yeah, horror. American Horror, horror Story. Yeah, like I loved where, her in that. I think that's where I knew her for the first time. I think. Um, and Nurse Ratchet. Nurse I liked Ratchet. Nurse Ratchet. Nobody liked Nurse Ratchet, but I like Nurse. Really? Nurse Ratchet. I love Nurse Ratchet because my wife is a Nurse Ratchet. She has like uh. no bedside <laughs> manner, like at all. Like I had just gotten a double mastectomy. And I had fucking tubes hanging from me everywhere. That bitch made me get up like six hours later and like walk around the house. Like, oh, she's but awful. she knew what she I was. don't care. <laughs> I don't care. She was trying to get you back Listen, healthy, girl. Give me another painkiller. Tell me you love me. Oh, rub see? my feet and tell me I'm gorgeous. That'll be right? me. That'll like... be me. I'll be pumping you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, look, well, you know what's crazy about Sarah Paulson, which maybe you and your girl can... Mm -hmm. They don't live together, bro. What? Yes. I didn't know that. They don't live together. She says their relationship works because they have two separate houses. They come stay at each other when they want to, and they got different rooms when they need it, but they don't really sleep together. That's a great idea. That's a great Yeah. Like, I, I'm already sleeping in two different rooms in my house. Okay. But I can't wait to have two different houses and sleep in two right? different houses. <laughs> right? Like, you know, we have a lot of, like, in-law quarters here in yeah. South Florida. You could throw, you know, the one that has less clothes in the back, and, like, you know, which will be you, Teresa, you know? <laughs> like, uh, that's a great idea. It Maybe is a great that's idea. what it is, you know? Like, I, I, I always, you know, when, uh, me and my wife will be married uh, seven, eight years, something like that. Do the math. I don't know, right? At, at the end of this year. I know, I never remember. My anniversary's coming up. You know why? Because Chris told me. <laughs> okay, but you see what I'm saying, right? And the reason it works, I think, is because we're both so busy doing our own shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we pass through the night. At night, we're there together, we know, but we end up in bed at different times. We wake up at different times. Mm. Like, we have a completely different schedule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't really clash. You know, we clash when we got to. Yeah. That bitch doesn't know how to pick up freaking certain things from the floor. She just doesn't. Yo, you know what I mean? Like, the ADD we? is real. Like, the ADD is real. I see she leaves me a trail of shit. So her key is here. Her yes. jacket's here. A wrapper to something. Her Starbucks is here. That's she where you find pussy. She leaves me a trail. That's, That's how it works. Okay, I got to find my pussy. Hold on. <laughs> That's where you, you go, know, I, go I go with some catnip, and I just <laughs> go and, like, follow all the shit she leaves me through the house. Like, Yo. I mean. See, the thing is about relationships, man. Like, theirs is great because they don't live together. But, like, when you live together, you start realizing some shit. And my thing Thing is this i'm a mess the night because i'm gonna party right i'm mm -hmm. gonna be a mess that night mm -hmm. the next morning i'm picking my shit up yeah. right yeah my man will yell about me dropping it that night dropping clothes on the floor that night but ask me if he's ever picked up a fucking mop in his life <laughs> or a it don't look dirty or a, no it's just it's a look the house looks pretty 
but it's gross. I'm like, well, hey, man, go get a fucking vacuum, dog. He's yeah. like, no, nah, I don't do that. No, nah, I don't do that. But you're also Cuban. And like oh. Cuban people, like they have a certain way of like cleaning the house, right? Like I'm used to like, like you Saturdays get- Like Saturdays at six like, in the morning. You know, I'm used to like, you know, you get a bucket, you clean the floor with some water, blah, blah, blah. Cubans get a bucket, throw all the water on the floor. <laughs> yes. It's fucking everywhere. Yes. The walls yes. get clean, the dog gets clean, <laughs> yeah. everything gets clean. That's how they clean. Like it's some crazy Cuban mentality. It is that, like, weird, you know, it is weird. And it's always at weird times of the day, man. It's always waking you up at six in the morning on a Saturday. With music at six in the morning yeah. on a Saturday. That's how Latino people do it. Yeah. It's anyway. Anyway, they, Sarah they figured out. Great. Hush, yeah. They figured I, I, I think they figured out a good way to have a relationship. <laughs> yeah. Live yeah. apart, but you also gotta be have, rich, though. You also gotta have that, though. Like you know, yeah. South Florida prices. We can't. You can't afford two Wilton Tower freaking apartments right now. No, that's a no, lot. No, that's you a know, lot. Yeah, I lot. can't afford two Miami houses. So. <laughs> <laughs> Move somewhere that in law that in law quarters. You know what I wanted to do also? Whoa. You know how in Miami they do like theater stuff in containers? I want to buy a oh, container yeah. and put it in the back of the house and make it the in law quarters. Maybe. Okay, my brother kind of did that did in, he? in like Central Florida. He got a container, which I thought he was going to live in, mm -hmm. but he ended up getting a motorhome instead. But now he has a container and a motorhome, and he has like a whole area to put like all his toys like it's motorcycles and all that bullshit in the container and then they have a motorhome so essentially you have a whole ass like two acres of land with just two little blocks on it <laughs> <laughs> and if you wanted to leave you could just turn on the motorhome and leave right and, and turn on the other the, thing and attach and it to, take that it to and something buy. yeah Oh I man, I, I wish relationships were like that. That you just brought your shit and then okay, bye, we're over. Then you just gotta latch it on. No, that out. was me. We're not doing that anymore. Okay, don't trigger me. We're not doing that. We're, not doing that. we're keeping this one. We're keeping this one. We're not we're doing that anymore. This one. That's it. <laughs>